Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> King Max is here, guys. Bless Erba. Welcome. <laughs> we can now take questions. <laughs> Mr. Holloway, uh, first question on the Holloway era. Uh, were you impressed with all those uh, all those champ? He took a lot of uh, strikes during the fight, and he took a lot of punches there when you were on him. Were you surprised with that? No, not at all. He's a champion. He was a champion for 10 years. You know? Uh, he was a goal. He was one of the best of all times. And uh, the only thing that surprised me, I thought he was going to be a little quicker. That's come I was getting caught. I was like watching stuff. I was like, oh man, I see it. Boom. I was like, damn. I kind of hurt. He has big hands, but uh, it is what it is. We got it done. And uh, it's a uh, it's blessed era. Not Holloway era. It's a blessed era. Era. Uh, you were sending uh, some magic messages to Dana White telling that now you want some uh, money fights. What do you have in your mind? Do you think money fights like maybe uh, some no. even in Hawaii yeah. or something like that? No, you know, I don't want money fights, you know. Uh, Dana White told me, we had a meeting before, and he said, uh, this is big game hunting. The, the, bigger, the bigger the game you bring in to the table, the more bigger paychecks you get. And I think all those, uh, he's a silverback gorilla, you know. Uh, now I want my paycheck, you know, I don't want money fights. I, I want to get paid, and um, like I said, I want to defend my throne, you know? I want to be here for a long time, and uh, you know, why not do it in Hawaii? Who in here doesn't want to go to Hawaii? Raise your hand. Yeah, or just stand up and, and, and it, actually, if you don't want to go to Hawaii, just stand up and leave. I don't want to take questions from you. <laughs> uh, Max, over here, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, I want I want you to explain to us that tie that you have. What what is that? <laughs> uh, the tie. The first tie we had gold, so all gold everything. I had to step up this time. It's platinum now, so I'm feeling platinum. You know, you know. Uh, I was feeling Bruno Mars 24 karat gold last year, um, the last fight. Now I'm feeling myself. So we went platinum. <laughs> so. Um, it, I want to ask you if anything about Aldo surprised you. You just said that you uh, thought he was uh, 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 less quick than you expected. Uh, were you surprised that he didn't use the leg kicks as much? And also I wanted to ask you, uh, who do you think is next? Who is the next challenger for you? Uh, you know, um, I, he, he, tried a, he tried the leg kick. I just think so the distance was in there. And uh, you know, he's been saying that he wants to box. And, and people, you guys keep... A lot of people keep saying I'm one of the best boxers in the division, so I think so he had something to prove and, uh, you know, things just went my way. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not, I'm not here racing to my division. I'm here, you know, I want to be Mr. Cleanup. I'm here cleaning them out. If I didn't fight you, get ready. And if I fought you ready, uh, you know what's going to happen the second time around. So, uh, whoever it is, you know, whatever it is, whoever it is, uh, let's get it, let's get it done, you know. We see, we see what happens. Right now, all, uh, to be honest, all I got in my mind right now is um, is your guys' Asai, man. Real's Asai is, is for real. And uh, I want some Asai with cashew nuts and powder milk. Big police, you a real one. We've been eating Asai whole week over there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Max. Yeah, I'm going to talk in Portuguese, tudo bem? Ah. Só para poder traduzir para você. Ok. Yeah. É, primeiro eu queria dizer que eu estou sempre vendo você jogando videogame na, na stream, então é muito bom te ver aqui de vez em quando, ao vivo também. So it's great. É... It's great to see you live and in person. A pergunta que eu quero fazer é o seguinte. You're 25 years old. You're very young to be a champion. Not that that's a bad thing, but you're very young. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, yeah, you know, thank you for reminding me of all my game. You know, twitch.tv backslash bless MMA. Follow me. I play a bunch of games. I play Rainbow Six. Any of you guys can get it. If you guys want a whooping, let me know. Me and my boys, I got I, I got a couple boys on there that we're ready to go. And um, you know, from here, the only way is up. You know, this is uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. Uh, you know, I got a great team. I got a great guys. I got great training partners. I got a great family. And uh, it's this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. Get ready, man. I tell you, 
Bless Arrow is going to be in full effect here in a bit. You guys are going to see I've been tiling, I've been screaming at the top of my lungs. And now I'm in front of you guys, and now you guys starting to listen. So I always loved you guys, but uh, I'm about to get loved even more. Right, so you were you were down the first rounds, but then by the end of the second round, it seems like you were only getting more confident, and then you started doing that little like taunting thing and stuff. Um, and what was going through your mind at that moment, and when was that the moment when you figured when you thought that you had his number? Ah, uh, you know, it's not a sprint, it's a race. This wasn't three rounds, I had five rounds, I was taking my time, you know? And uh, I was just in there, you know, and, uh, and one of the shots, I don't think anybody saw it, I did a, I, I, did, I threw a kick and everybody thought he blocked it, but I landed with my knee. I hit him with my knee and, um, and uh, he didn't, uh, and he, he kind of stopped moving after that. He kind of like, he was moving back the whole time and then when I caught him, he kind of planted after I had landed that knee and, I kind of knew, and then once I taught, I just was like, man, just let it go. Just let it go, you know, have fun, man, have fun. I was telling myself in there, just have fun already. And when I taunted him and he didn't throw nothing, I was like, ooh, ooh, it's gonna be a long night, brother. Yeah, like I said, I was in here to dominate. You know, I was, I was in here to dominate, and uh, if you wanted a way out, I'm gonna hold your hand and walk you to the door, you know? And just like you guys, you know, everybody's welcome, you know? Everybody's welcome to Ble Team Bless MMA, hashtag UFC Hawaii. And I can hold you guys' hand all the way too, man. Come on to the crew. You said it yourself, it's it's a race, not a sprint, but um, he did seem to get a little more tired as it went on. Was it your, really your strategy to just let him tire himself out in those first two rounds? I, you know, he, he, he's, he's famous for getting tired in the later rounds, you know, and I get stronger. So, you know, it was, it was no secret, you know. It's just Max Holloway fights, you know. It, People always try to come out early at me, and I just start taking over slowly but surely, and uh, and that's what happened, you know. I and he landed some big shots early. I land my big shots, and then my big shots started counting, you know. So it is what it is, but you know the man's a goat, you know. You gotta respect him, and I respect all. Like I said before, I was 17 years old watching this man, and now I'm 25, and I got to stand and say a kid to him. That was a moment uh, that I'll never ever forget. And uh, to be here in Rio and in front of uh, his fans and stuff, and you know, do that. You know, Kings comes out of Kings Village. He had everything I wanted. He had everything. He had the rain. He had the long rain. Now it's time for Bless Sarah. And uh, you know, nothing but respect for the man. You know, he he's been a champ, and it showed today. It showed today. You know, with the finish and with everything, like why he was on top for so long. You know, and uh, nothing but congratulations to him. You know, it's just this is a new era. You say you're not focused on Asai, you're not really handpicking anyone uh, for your next fight, but I think there there is one guy who's actually here in Brazil right now, it's Frankie Edgar, who uh, everybody really is pointing out as the contender right now, but Cub Swanson is also, he already like made his case for why he should cut in line in front of Frankie. Do you have a preference as to, or, or do you think any of them has a stronger case? Ah, you know, I <laughs> I, who sees, you know? I think me and Cub would be another one, but me and Frankie, man, that sounds awesome. Right? Everybody keeps saying I didn't fight, I didn't fight people, you know, all those saying I didn't fight people. And Frankie is a former champ, you know. I got a, I got two former champs under my belt. Would it be, would it be nice adding another one under my belt. So uh, we see what happens, you know. First things first, uh, I gotta have that meeting, and we go from there. And then uh, if they wanna do it, let's do it in uh, Hawaii. I, I know a place. A stadium is very nice. This, the 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 uh, the weather is warm in here. You guys will love it. The beach water, the water is not cold. I promise. And it's just awesome. We have this thing called shave ice. You guys will love. It's it's great. I promise. Max, here uh, was uh, moving to the left. Uh, uh, part of the strategy to avoid alto left kicks. Uh, and then uh, when you started uh, training martial arts, uh, have you ever imagined that at 25 years old uh, you were going to be an absolute UFC champion? Ah uh, yeah, you know, I, you know, it's just, I'm a mover, and I'm a mover. It wasn't really for Aldo, it's just I like moving. You know, and Aldo, Aldo don't, don't like moving, he likes staying there and trying hard shots. So, I just wanted to move, you know, I'll box him and, you know, just have my way with him and, uh, you know, kind of get into his game a little bit, then we went back to mines and uh, it showed. And then, like I said before, guys, I saw how when I was 17. I wanted to fight him when I was 17. I was a kickboxer. You see a picture of me, this little scrawny kid. I wanted to fight him then. I was like, this guy is badass. I want to fight him. And then, uh, 
you know, a couple years later, I found out, I figured out what MMA was, and I wanted to be a UFC champion, you know? You know, the whole BJ Penn era came up and whatever, and I wanted to be a UFC champion, you know? If, uh, if these guys can do it, why not me? You know, that's my mentality, you know? If, that, should, that should be your mentality in life, you know, in anything. Like, if, if those guys can do it, why not you? You know, why not you? Don't listen to your haters. You know how much haters I had saying, you're crazy fighting him in Brazil, the fans, and this and that? Nah, I live for moments like this, you know? Keep telling me you can't do it, and I'm gonna keep telling you watch me. Sorry for asking in Portuguese. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, we're in your country, brother. Tudo bem, nós estamos no seu país. Você You needed 10 fights to be able to get to a title shot, officially. And it only took three of those to a decision. You always finish your fights with a submission or a knockout. And now you're the, the champion, and there's other guys that are in a similar situation to yours. What do you, you give that situation to? What do you attribute that to? Uh, you know, keep grinding, keep grinding. Too much crybabies in this game. Too much guys. I could have sat away on him and weep and cried and with my title shot, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but you fucking, you, I don't want to say it, but you a bitch. You a bitch, you act like that, for real. Keep making your payday, you know, they tell us, you want bigger paydays, go out there and fight out your contracts. Go out there and make, make fights. I didn't cry one time. Uh, we never cried, like I said before. When we got the Aldo fight, the email was in my email for 15 minutes. It took me under a minute to send it back. I didn't even know it was in there. I was just randomly checking my email. I was like, oh, look, you see, you see agreement. I was like, what? Oh, real, whatever. Send it back with my signature. Stop crying. Everybody's, I deserve this, I deserve that. You guys don't deserve shit. Keep showing, keep hard working. And we're here now, you know? They can't deny me now, you know? It's like, it's whatever, stop crying. Why, why cry over spilled milk? If you spill a gallon of milk, what you gonna do? Try and wipe your gallon and put it back in the gallon? Wipe that shit up, go buy a new one. Move on with life. Hey, how? Portuguese. And we see. You ruined the party for 15,000 Brazilians tonight. Everyone was ready to party here for Jose, but congratulations, you had a great fight. And you're talking about winning great fights. And you were able to stop a great fighter. And you said you're, you're willing to fight anyone in the division. But there is someone who was the champion in the division and now is the division above. Do you intend on, on settling your, your, your debt with that guy? He's already beat you, McGregor? You know, like I said before, I'm going to say it again. That guy was a 2015 champ. He can go run around wherever he at with the belt and celebrate it. Because guess what? We, you can't take it away from here. But we're, this is called the year 2017 right now. He's a 2015 champ, and I'm the champ. If you want to come back down, he can come and get it. But if not, it is what it is, you know? I, I'm... He's a different kind of guy, you know, all his fans is like, he's a guy who's always looking over the fence. He's always trying to look for the next great team, whatever. He never really chose this chance, like, you know, like DJ. DJ found, DJ, Demetrius Johnson, he finds this motivation of keep defending, keep defending. It takes a special human being to do that, and that's me. I want to defend my throne. All my fans know and, and love me because I want to defend this. I want to show I'm the champ. I keep defending. Come try to take over my village off with your head. That's what I'm gonna do, you know? This guy's over here just always trying to look for a bigger thing. And you can't, you know, you know, that's him. That's him. That's good for him, you know? But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I ain't gonna chase someone around. I ain't gonna talk about someone who's not talking about me. He gets to choose his fights, you know? Why am I gonna cry and beg him for fighting me? You know, get the hell out of here with that shit. You can beg to fight me now, dog. You know, I'm coming to that point where people's gonna start asking me to fight. I ain't asking no one to fight. I got my throne. If you want it, come see me. You came to Aldo's home and you beat him. 
Do you think it would be plausible for you to give Aldo this opportunity to go to your home and fight you? Like I said, I'm going to talk to Dana White. We see what happens. I would, that would be great. He get, to, he get to stand in front of a bunch of crazy Hawaiians. Brazilians is crazy. Don't get me wrong. I love you guys. And you say you're not going to party? That is a lie. You guys like to party. I saw yesterday night when I was getting food. The streets is crazy. So you guys going to party? And uh, you, guys could, you know what you guys should do? You guys should party tonight for having great acai. <laughs> acai is freaking great up here. You add powder milk. You add cashew nuts. And now, um, I didn't try it yet, but I'm going to add ice cream tomorrow. And it's going to be amazing. So party up, guys. You guys, you know, all those are gold. You know, he's a gold. Not to buy respect, not to buy love. And not to buy love for you guys. You know, after the fight, I know you guys are sad, but you guys still cheer for me. You guys, you guys show me nothing but the Lord, nothing but love. And I love you guys for that. You know, you guys are fight fans. That's what it is, you know. I, I didn't expect anything different. I knew you guys were going to back up against country men. And I love that about you guys. And I love that about true fans. You guys are true MMA fans. And... And respect to you guys, but go party it up, man. Go party it up. Party for the love of Asai, because I'm going to miss you, Asai. Real Asai, I'm going to miss you. Hey, Max here. Um, as uh, McGregor is going to the box, and you have a really good boxing uh, game, uh, would you ask Dana to a boxing match if McGregor finally fights with my weather, or you prefer to defend a lot of times your friend? We see what happens, you know, anything is possible, but I don't want to hold up my division. Like I said, I got a throne. I, I got a throne, you know, in the olden days, if the king left and someone came raid the village and they took over, they took over, you know, like, if, if I leave and someone takes my belt, I can't be mad, you know? I left my village unattended, you know? Like, no, I'm gonna attend, I'm gonna stay in my village, any stupid ass is just dumb enough to come and test me. You go find out the hard way and we're gonna put your hand on the stick and let them know, like, look, these guys tried, this is your last time to turn around and go the other way or come on in and get your ass whooping. All right? Yeah. In Portuguese? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this evening, you became the first featherweight champion with 11 consecutive wins, now with 11 consecutive wins. What does that mean to you? Oh, man. It means a lot, you know. I get to enjoy it for the next couple of days, but at the end of the day, like I said, man, this is, this is just the beginning, you know. Too much people, they start, they start enjoying their success and then they forget about the work that they got put on for the next one. And, you know, I want to fight for maybe, you know, like five, ten more years, who knows, you know, I'm young, I'm 25, and I want to fight for a long time, and you can't smell the roses right now. You know, when I retire, when I'm 35, 31, 32, that's when I can smell the roses and talk about it all I like. Right now, I got hard work to do. I got I to gotta get back to the gym. I got I to gotta do it, you know. I, I just got to get in there and, and get the job done, because once you start enjoying stuff, someone that's more hungry than you is going to come up, and you're going to get a rude awakening. Ah. I want to, you know, I, I don't want to get a rude awakening, in front, especially in front of the people. And now with social media and all this shit, people trolling nowadays, people making memes. It's horrible. So I don't want to be the face of a horrible meme, bro. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. In parking. Yeah, that's good. You're from Hawaii and you're always talking about that. And Hawaii is the land of another former champion. Do you think that you'll be able to do with the organization a legacy, a bigger legacy than BJ had in the UFC? Yeah, you know, it is what it is. We're not here to compare legacies. We're not here. You know, BJ, BJ did what he did. He set the bar. And like I said all the time, I'm here to break him. You know, I want to break him. And then I set the bar, and then I welcome anybody to break them, you know? Go, go and break it. Bars are meant to be broken. I ain't over here trying to be filling nobody's shoes or you got big shoes, no, you know? There's only one BJ Penn, there's only one me, and there's only one you. Be the best damn you and break the bar. I'm setting the bar, you know, BJ set the bar, I'm trying to beat it, and if I get there and I beat it, then somebody else gotta try and beat it, you know? It's all about setting bars, you know? You give them competition and let them know, like, look, if I can do it, why not you? Believe in yourself and don't try to be the next me. 
Don't. Too much people. It's too much copycats in this game. It will be you. Thank you, guys. Big Polly's tomorrow. Big aside party. <laughs>